guys, welcome back to Fish and Hex. Today I just got in two new JBO PPA wireless pumps. They're essentially the same thing as the uh, RW8s that, the, uh, that they make. So we're actually going to put two of these on the 125 and uh, we're going to put them on the back wall. We're going to have the flow kind of coming towards the front of the glass or front of the aquarium, sorry, and then shooting downward at an angle to kind of add like a spiral flow. Now, um, I'm going to go through and show you what's in the box, and then I'm going to show you how I hook them up and how I sync them, and then we'll go from there. We'll see how they work out. One quick note, I also added a second uh, MP40 on the left-hand side of the reef yesterday. Um, I had a little bit of issue trying to run the wire, and I didn't really have any time to record, so I, I connected it, um, and then it, I hooked it up with a JBO to Apex linkage adapter and programmed it through the Apex. So I'm going to do a separate video on how to hook that up, how to program the JBOs to the Apex. So that's coming soon. All right, let's get started. Let's see what's in the box here. Ooh, directions. We need those. There we go. We have the, looks like, power supply. Yep. Power supply. Alright, my plan is to use these uh, controllers here for a few weeks and then I'm going to put another linkage adapter on the Apex. So we have the wireless controller here with this sticky thing on the back. Lastly, we have the pump. I guess the new model supposedly has a better magnet that doesn't corrode or dissolve in the aquarium over time. That's what I've heard. I didn't really do too much research on what um, what the difference was between the RWA and the PPA, uh, but I'll find out and I'll let you guys know. All I know is that when I ordered the RWAs, they sent me some, sent me these instead. So, all right, let's go ahead. We got the same thing obviously in this box, so let's move to the tank. All right, guys. Now we're here on the side of the tank where we're actually going to mount the controllers. Now this is the old JBO. We're just going to take this one off. Um, it's probably never going to use it again, but we'll keep it just in case. You never know. So these here, you put the sticky double-sided tape on the back, and then it just comes off. Oh, it's supposed to come off. All right. Um, what I usually do is I usually put like a, um, a holder here and a holder here because if the tape ever gave away it would just kind of get caught up with the screw and not actually fall into the tank. So um, remember the light sensor is here and then obviously it will tell you when it's dark and then it will kick into night mode. Next thing we're going to do is hook up the pump. So let's get situated for that. Alright, let's get the left side in. Gotta go slow. Just in case. I don't think fishing the magnet out behind the uh, tank is gonna be fun. Yeah, I'll have to adjust them because they are crooked and that will probably drive me insane. So, but that's it. So let's get into um, running the wires and making it neat and then turning them on. All right, now we're ready to put the pump in. So since my arm can't reach all the way over here in the back of the tank, we're going to start off and connect the magnet early on over here and then we will drag it across the back. Oops, to not lose the magnet along the way. That's the plan. So 
Seems like a good spot for now. All right, let's go ahead and get the other side. All right, now we're back here. We're gonna run the wiring across the back and then over to the um, controllers. I have these little adhesive clips that I'm trying out. I picked them up for like a dollar at Ollie's and uh, it has double-sided tape. And uh, we'll see if they work. Basically, the wire just snaps inside. Well, it seems to work. Now let's get the other one. Okay. Get the right side pump coming up out of the water. A little bit of a pain. There we go. Okay. Now I don't think I'm gonna be able to connect two of them in the same um, in the same slot. I don't think it's gonna be big enough, but we'll see. So I have two left. Clip there. All right. All right. Well, let's move into connecting to the. Let's connecting the power power supply and then connecting the pumps and turn them on. All right. So it really doesn't matter which one you connect to. This one's the left. So I guess we would just use the left controller. Excess cords out the back. Do the trick. All right, let's get the power supplies. Simple. It's actually uh, a lot smaller than a WP40. So the WP40 has the uh, the bigger box, and then uh, there's a like a PC connection in the back. And, you know, the, the power supplies connection using a, um, a computer. It's basically the same plug-in. So let's run this. So the total gallons per hour in this tank, if all four pumps are all the way up, it's like 11,200 and something like that. So it's definitely, definitely enough, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna plug them both in now. So they're both kicking on right now. 
Now let's get it to program. Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and program each individual pump and then we're going to link them together. So, first of all, I like to put mine on night mode. So at night, the uh, when the lights go out, the pump will um, go down to a slow, constant speed. So, see it's in else mode now, and then the lights go off over the sensor. It goes down to a low, constant speed. Okay. Next, we're going to make this one the master and make this one the slave. We're going to hit Wi-Fi lock, so master's highlighted, and then this one's slave. So, you can when you adjust your modes, they uh, they adjust together. Now, when you do your speed, unfortunately, it only you can only do one at a time. At least for right now, it is, um, and that's about it. Okay. Um, you can do your feed mode, hold this down for 10 seconds or so, the feed mode will come on. Let's see if, uh, sorry, that's night mode, my bad, this one right here, feed mode. Hold it down, they both go into feed mode for 10 minutes, and then when 10 minutes is up, they'll both start up again. Hold this back down, and now they both kick back on. So, that's it, they're pretty easy to program. Now I'm going to show you what they look like in the tank. Alright, so I believe I have them both on camera, decent anyways. Try to zoom in so I can get them both on there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do a couple modes and see what that looks like. So we're going to go ahead, it's on high right now. So we're going to bring the speed all the way up on high and max. You see it's definitely moving a lot of water. reason to keep it that high. Let's try another mode. We're going to uh, leave it on a high speed still and then we're going to try wave one which is a stop go stop go. All right so we're going to speed up the pump a little bit. Let's try another wave. This is wave two. Basically this is like it's on and then it goes off, but it doesn't completely go off like before. It's the same pulse, just it never comes completely off. Alright, we're gonna go into else mode. This is what I'm actually gonna keep it on as else mode. Basically it just goes between uh, the different patterns all the time. And we're gonna lower the speed down to like halfway on both, and then we're going to want to angle, I'm going to angle them down a little bit, just a tiny bit, this is what it looks like from back in the room, you got the uh, WP40 on the left, WP40 on the right, and then you have the two, uh, what the PP8s now, yeah, PP8s on the back wall, essentially the RW8. So that's it, guys. Uh, total 11,000 gallons per hour if I ever needed it, which I don't. I'm going to start turning things down because there is a lot of flow in here now. A little too much. Um, other than that, it looks good. They run good. And then I'm going to get the second linkage adapter for the Apex, and I will be connecting those together. Uh, connecting those two PPAs to the Apex as well, and then putting them on the programming that the uh, WP40s are on. Um, stay tuned to the next video. We're going to do the hooking up of the uh, linkage adapter to the Apex, and then we're going to do the programming in uh, the Apex Fusion and the um, original console for Apex, their original, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, interface. So we'll show you how to get in there and do all that good stuff. So stay tuned, guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, just ask. And until next time, later.